Hi, and welcome to episode four of We're in This Boat Together, presented by Westwind Sailing. I'm your host, Diane Wenzel, and today we're going to be learning about the mechanics of the boat and how the moving parts work. So, we had talked about parts of the boat. Again, this here is the tiller. The tiller is attached to the rudder over the stern of the boat, and this is our steering mechanism. So the tiller actually acts like our steering wheel in our car. Um, up forward here, we have our sheet. Our sheet right now is locked into the cleat and comes up around the boom. The sheet controls the sail. The sail is the motor of the boat. The sheet is the gas pedal. It makes the boat go and stop. Where we're going to put our bodies in the boat. If you're sailing on your own, you're going to be sitting toward the stern of the boat, but we never want to sit so far back so that we get bumped by the tiller. So you need to sit far enough back that you can hold on to the tiller, but again, not so far back to where it's bumping into you. Okay. You're going to be holding the tiller with your hand closest to the stern of the boat, and you hold it with your knuckles to the sky, just like so. At the same time, you're going to be working the sheet. You're holding the sheet with your hand closest to the bow of the boat. There are two actions that we do with the sheet. Sheet out and sheet in. To sheet out, we take the sheet out of the cleat and then we pull the sheet out of the pulley. Pulling the line works a heck of a lot better than trying to push the line. Pushing the line is not working so well. So we pull the sheet out of the cleat. To sheet in, we take the sheet and we lock it into the cleat and pull in. Notice how as I'm sheeting in, I'm only doing this with one hand. The reason why I'm only doing it with one hand is because my other hand is holding the tiller. I've got my gas pedal and I've got my steering wheel. We want to make sure that we never let go of our steering wheel. So we hold on to the tiller and we sheet with one hand. So we sheet in to un or sheet out, excuse me. We take the sheet out of the cleat and pull the sheet out of the pulley. To sheet in again, put the sheet in the cleat and pull in. The movement with the tiller, we should be comfortable being able to move the tiller all the way across the boat to the back of the seat opposite of us and all the way behind us to the back of the seat on the side that we're sitting on. That's the movement that we're going to be able to do with the tiller. It's very important when you're working the tiller and the sheet that you're comfortable knowing where these things are without actually having to look at them because we can't be looking at them while we're sailing. We need to be looking at where we're going. So be able to sheet in and sheet out and be comfortable being able to move the tiller from one side and the other without looking at it and back to center. We have to be able to look forward while we're sailing. We have to also be ambidextrous while we're doing this because we don't just sheet in and sheet out and sit on one side of the boat. We're going to have to sit on either side of the boat to do this. So be sure that you're comfortable working the tiller and the sheet from either side of the boat. Make sure that you can comfortably sheet in, use the cleat, uncleat, sheet out, work the tiller from one side of the boat to the other, and make sure it's back in center without having to look at it. That's the mechanics of working the sheet and the tiller. Back over to the other side, the tiller and the sheet. And of course, we remember again that we do not let go of the tiller. That's our steering wheel. We want to hold the tiller at all times. If you can let go of the sheet, that's like taking your foot off the gas pedal. It's not going to be the end of the world. But we do always want to hold on to our steering wheel, our tiller. Okay, we're going to put our boat into the water and learn how to get in and out of the boat safely, and then our centerboard. We've already done our safety check. We know our plug is in. We take a hold of our bow line, and we give our boat a push. Put the boat into the water. We're holding onto our bow line. We're gonna bring our boat up around the corner and tie it off. Make sure you give yourself lots of slack as necessary on the bow line. And I usually like to work from the shroud wire. So I slack the bow line as I come around corners. I bring the boat forward via the shroud line and then pull on the bow line to bring the boat around the corner. We tie the boat off onto the dock with a cleat. We'll be teaching you the knots in another episode. Getting in and out of our boat safely. You can get in and out of the boat over the bow or towards 
the bow off the side of the boat. But we never want to get in and out of the boat toward the stern. We have to watch out for the boat. It's very important that the boat be close to the dock and held to the dock when we get in and out. Someone can hold the boat for you, either shroud or inside the boat. We never ever put our hands underneath the rails as our fingers could get squished when we get in and out of the boat. The boat should always also be tied to the dock. As if we're getting in over the bow of the boat, we want to step towards the bow as much as possible. And it's also very important that you commit yourself to either being on the boat or on the dock, because if you're in between, you're going to be swimming pretty soon. As we step onto the boat from the bow, we take a hold of the mast, step toward the middle as much as possible, and step on board. Stay toward the middle, we step onto the seat, and then down into the boat. Getting off the boat is the same way. Stand up near the bow, up onto the bow, and step off. Remember, we commit ourselves on the boat or on the dock. Getting in over the side, another option of doing this is you can always sit yourself onto the rail or into the seat and swing your legs around too. That works perfectly well. The last mechanics of the boat that we're going to look at today is our center board. This board is in the up position while we have the boat on the dock, but when we go sailing, we need to put it in the down position for us to sail properly. So you're going to check to see if your center board has an uphaul line, and that uphaul line could be pleated. That would look like this. In order to put the center board in the down position, we take the uphaul line out of the cleat, give it some slack, then we're going to go ahead and step onto the center board, more toward the back of the center board. Then we're going to take the head of the center board and pull the board into the down position. Now it's, it's in the down position, but it can kind of flop around a little bit there. So we have a line or some kind of a bungee to keep it in the down position. And that's this one right here. We're going to take this and just cleat it off onto the brass or onto the hook. And our center board is in the down position. That's the mechanics of our boat and how to get in and out safely. Thank you for joining us for this episode. Please check out our website at westmansailing.com. We've got at-home activities, we've got additional videos, and we have courses for you to take when we open back up in the future, hopefully the near future. Uh, please take care of each other, be safe, be kind, and remember that we're in this boat together.